You. You miss me, sweetheart. What? Nothing to say. If you are here, then Washington is safe. True, true. Thing is, I believe I've just been pardoned. Thank you kindly for the rescue, gents. There can be no further mistakes, Thomas. Am I understood? What about this, the assassin? Yeah. He's here. They put him in a cell right next to mine. Guess we didn't get them all, eh? Deal with this, Charles. At once, sir. What are we gonna do? You're that boy from the Continental Congress. Adams's little lapdog. Hmm. I think I have an idea. Yes. Two birds with one stone. Do tell. All in good time. It's not like the assassin's going anywhere. For now, we should see about getting you better accommodations here. What are you on about? I thought I was getting out. I'm afraid you won't be leaving for a while, thanks to Benjamin Talmadge. He's been running his mouth, saying all sorts of things. You're being investigated for plotting to assassinate George Washington. What a bunch of bollocks. I thought you was gonna handle that. We'll discuss this elsewhere. Yeah. Looks like a nice prison. Thomas is he the bucket. Hmm. I think I would rather hold it in. <laughs> they clearly spared no expense here. <laughs> I'm telling you, he's planning to escape. We should get in on it. Yeah? And what makes you think that? Caught him carving something in the yard. Slipped it in his pocket real quick when he saw me. Looked like a key. Probably just a shiv. Nah. Mason ain't a fighter. Always talking and tricking his way out of trouble. Weasel weems, they call him. Stinky bastard. Come on, Finch. He's not so bad. Even told me some letters once. Gonna write a note to my lady. Ha! What for? You think that whore's out there pining for you? Saving herself for when you get out? Huh? No doubt she's already moved on to the next fella, and the fella after him. You shut your mouth before I shut it for you. Easy now. It was just a joke. Yeah? Well, it wasn't very funny. Oh, Jesus. Nasty business, though, by the church. You think the peaceful endeavors of holy men would be worth a damn? These troubled times... Don't slab. It's not even a bed. And you're not even on the pillow. What are you doing? Get up! He wakes up there. Where are we going? Stay out of trouble or you'll wind up in the pit. Always thinking for the others. Very uh, close to me. As you eliminate. All right, I'm going. I'm going. I'm going. What are you looking at, half breed? You not understand English? That it? Not the same since old Fletcher. I'm gonna kill you. Say, what was the mild of the lion? That's an issue right now. Oh, you piece of shit. Do I need to knock some sense into that thick head of yours? I'll kill you first. I think I'll raise half of that. He'd obviously fallen over. I should try and find this Weems fellow. If he intends to escape, perhaps he can help me. I see you taking away a chance if you keep this up. Mason Weems? Could be. I need your help. Oh? They say you know a way out of here. They say a lot of things. 
I do not have time for games. A shame. As I was hoping you might play one with me. Fine. Are you familiar with the rules? No. Um. Seeing as you already know mine, what's your name? Connor. Pleased to meet you, Connor. How do you play this game? Well played. So, what brings you to Bridewell? Treachery. I have been falsely accused. Of course you have. You do not believe me? Why should I? You have the look of a brute. <laughs> you misjudge. I am an honest man. And yet, also a man imprisoned. Tell me how you found yourself in this place. It is a private matter. As is what you ask of me. I was trying to prevent a murder. Oh! Anyone I know? Won't take long to win at this rate. George Washington. No idea how to play that game. The others put you up to this, didn't they? Thought it might be fun to have another laugh at Mason's expense. Fools, a lot of them. To make light of something like this? George Washington is brave beyond measure. Loyal like a brother, peerless in character, and unshakable in his convictions. That man is our Jupiter Conservator. Destined to lead us not just to freedom, but greatness. Anyone who says otherwise is either a simpleton or a traitor. Then you understand why I need to get out of here. If I don't help him, he is going to die. You're serious, aren't you? Very well. It's going to take some doing. See, everything hinges on the key I forged. But that loud finch stole it. it. Took me three months to make the thing, too. <sighs> you need to get it back, or we're not going anywhere. Consider it done. For us, Ben. Maybe, maybe, guard, maybe. <laughs> Your key is useless. What do you mean? It did not fit the lock. It's not meant to. You forged a key that does not work. Well, that all depends on what you mean by work. It'll get us out of here. Just not the way you expected. Then how? You're going to use it to get the real key off the warden. You have to swap yours for his. Why don't you just have me take the real key? Why all this extra work? You might notice if it went missing. This way, he'll be none the wiser. And when he tries to use it? He won't. That's why we're targeting him. How do I reach the warden? Yes. This next part, you may not like. Oh, as if I've liked the others. Out with it. You need to pick a fight. What? Pick a fight, and they'll throw you in the pit. And how in the world does this help us? The warden oversees the pit. Getting sent there is the only way to reach him. Is that right? I give you credit. 
You've given this plan to risk my life a great deal of thought. Take down as many as you can. One or two will only serve to entertain the guards. You need to make them angry. We all have our part to play. Try not to die. Do my best. At that point, I was there fighting, let me tell you. Then this is trapped, guard dog. He'd be rather belligerent. Send them all in boxes! Come on, Connor. Ooh. I die, move ha ha ha. I am an assassin. Drop the bastards. Drop the bastards. Fancy yourself a troublemaker, eh? Some time in the pit to cool your blood. I'm in the pit, mate. This is the pit. Look at all of you. Pathetic, dirty wretches. You're not but swine, suckling at the teats of civilization, thieves and scoundrels all. And do you acknowledge this? Do you repent and beg forgiveness? No. You elect instead to commit new and more terrible crimes inside what should be a place of rehabilitation. You bide your time, awaiting the day of release that you might corrupt anew. The worst part is that the good people of New York are forced, quite literally, to pay for your crimes. Oh, we had to wait for him to move or something. Need to take care not to raise the alarm. Stop! I want to talk to you. <gasps> That's him dying? Look at just knocked him out. Get out of a cell. You'll find Hickey through that door. It's where they keep the important prisoners. Nicer rooms, more space, those sorts of things. It seems even in prison, who you know makes all the difference. Thank you, Mason, for everything. I will find a way to repay the favor when my work here is finished. Oh, what? Don't lose him again. <laughs> wow. Let's take it slow. You 
I'm in, I'm in jail. What are you talking about? Get back here, you deaf turd! You come back here! <gasps> Brought it upon yourself. Can you leave? You didn't see me. Like, I, I was a figment of your imagination. Turn around, yes, turn around. You're glitched. You don't see the musket on the floor? No, you don't. Good. Expecting, am I right? What have we here? I thought we'd finished off your kind. You would like that, wouldn't you? To rid the world of all who do not share your views. <laughs> Guilty as charged. Your meddling in the revolution has caused us no small measure of grief. It cannot continue. Our work is too important. But what would you know, beyond all the lies Achilles feeds you and the tales you tell yourself? I know that the people wish to be free, and that men like Washington fight to make it so. Please, the man is weak. He stumbles and stammers through each engagement, making it all up as he goes along. His pedigree is pathetic, his military record even more so. I could go on and on, but we'd be here for days. So manifold are his faults, so deficient are his merits. He must be dealt with. You as well. I will abide no more flies in the ointment. Here's how it's gonna work. First we bind you and bring you to your cell. Then tomorrow, you go before the court, accused of plotting to kill good old Georgie. <laughs> hmm. Maybe we could pin the murder of the, the warden on you too. You did kill him after all. And who wouldn't take the word of Charlie over here? Hmm. Once that's all squared away, well then. <laughs> all those years ago, the child in the forest was you. I said I would find you. <gasps> and so you have. But not quite as you had expected, am I right? <sighs> you know, all of this might have been avoided had you only done what I asked. Ah, uh, but what's done is done. <clears throat> wow, Connor. That was a long episode. 